Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's video, we're gonna talk about the supply chain being deeply affected. Now, according to Klaus Schwab, he is the lead guy in the World Economic Forum, uh, world-changing gang, organization, whatever you wanna call it. So a lot of you guys don't know what the World Economic Forum is. Bottom line is, guys, they are looking to depopulate the planet as much as possible, push shots across the world and tell us how much meat we're going to eat and how much vegetables we're going to eat so you guys have to look at it they have a youtube channel on here i'll put the link in the description section below but check it out watch some of their videos they have an agenda clearly they do right so according to klaus schwab he states that the energy system food system and global supply chain will be deeply affected those are his words these guys, guys, they're pushing their own agenda, clearly. And they are laying out the plan for us to see. They're not hiding this. This is out in the open now. This isn't some conspiracy theory or something where you have to, like, you know, you, you have to be part of a secret club. It's on YouTube. So, again, guys, just look it up. You can even visit their website. It's insane what they're looking to push. And it's even insane that the site patients who work under these people agree with this shit. And when you look at who's a part of the World Economic Forum, Putin, when you look at the groups of people that are involved, Biden, if you watch all of these things, Amazon CEOs, they are all part of the World Economic Forum. They're all looking for this grand change. Now, they pushed the fact that we're going to see a food problem, like Biden said last week, we're gonna see energy system problems, they failed to mention the water problems we are also going to start seeing. That is a bigger issue in itself. Now, why are they not talking about this yet? Because they're trying to get a grasp on it. They are absolutely, guys, down the line, going to start monitoring how much water we use. That is just a matter of time. Uh, but again, they don't mention it yet. They do talk about how to get clean water and how to preserve water in, their, um, in one of the economic form videos they talk about it but they don't talk about the water crisis that we are absolutely headed towards now the world economic forums plans are unfolding but they look like they ran into one bit of a hiccup russia and china want to start their own new world order this is what i told people ukraine was really about it was about them sitting at the table of the world economic forum and having more of a role in it and i just feel like they don't have a bigger role in it even Putin in a video he has, and uh, that's gonna be in the description section below. Even in that video, he talked about being careful of uh, power structure and who has what and who doesn't have what. And then he makes this deal with China recently and that China and Russia are moving something called the multipolar uh, system. That is their version of the new world order, guys. Again, all you gotta do is read this shit. It's online for everyone's eyes to see. We all know that back in early February, Russia and uh, China made a partnership together that is very, very similar to the World Economic Forum's uh, agenda. Now, as you guys know, Biden made a slip last week about the New World Order and talked about how you know the New World Order is coming too. I'm paraphrasing. Guys, these different countries are talking about New World Order and they're letting it slip out. We've had New World Order mentioned here in the United States a few times last year and the year before. No one thought anything of it, but now it's coming to light. You had the UK talk about New World Order a couple of times. Guys, this is not a conspiracy theory anymore. This is actually real shit. Now, how it goes down is what we are seeing now. Lack of freedom of speech, lack of... Uh, Second Amendment rights here in, the, here in the United States, or at least it's getting stripped here. But United States is going to be the stronghold of that. There's going to be a serious fight when it comes down to it. But we are the last stronghold of firearms. That's why they're treating us, the, United, the American people rather, sorry, they're treating us carefully. Because if it goes sideways, guys, we're going to have fucking, uh, we're going to have war in this country. Whatever invading force is going to try to come in and take our weapons, that is going to be the fight of all fights. And we also hopefully have some military guys involved helping us out as well. But that's the future I see because all the other countries that they're looking to 
implement these rules in, well, they don't have firearms, but we do. So we are going to be the biggest headache when it comes to the World Economic Forum, and I'm pretty sure they're addressing it, they just don't know how to go about it. Now, the Third World War, it's probably not gonna look like what we think it's gonna look like. I think it's gonna be more economical based than anything. If you notice that China and the United States have announced e-currency, right? Bitcoin, uh, cryptocurrency, whatever you wanna call it. They're coming up with their own electronic based money. There is going to be a huge problem with that. Now, so a lot of people say gold and silver, that'll never go anywhere. That's gonna be the, the, the old fashioned, only way of owning any kind of currency because the paper currency that we have now which is worth nothing uh in all actuality um the gold and silver that you have if any of you have it that's going to be real currency but after that it's going to be this fake shit this e-currency now i don't want to get into the whole bitcoin thing guys but i think even bitcoin right now whatever you have whether it's bitcoin ethereum uh doge that's going to be obsolete soon i don't know how soon but i think soon i think that they're going to force us to either buy american cryptocurrency or chinese cryptocurrency again part of the world economic form now the chinese cryptocurrency i think that's for the new world order over there in china and russia the e-cryptocurrency the e-currency here in the united states that's for us and whatever other country is going to jump on board with that now like i said before guys the supply chain is going to be severely or deeply affected according to Klaus Schwab. So if this guy is throwing out a warning, he's throwing out a warning shot rather, to his people, we preppers better fucking take note and go, you know what? We're gonna keep, st we're gonna keep stepping up our preps. Now's not the time to slow down just because the uh, fog of war might be lifting. That doesn't mean guys, we stop doing what we do because that's the comfortable zone that they want us in so that we stop prepping and or, or we stop worrying rather the rest of the world. The rest of us, we got our eye on all this other shit that's going on and going, you know what? I don't even care. I don't give a fuck what goes on in Ukraine or Russia or fucking Africa at this point. I keep prepping here in the United States. I keep stacking my shit, keep throwing shit in the storage unit, keep throwing shit in my closet, and I'm going to keep stacking until I got no more room. Right? That's how, that's how you're supposed to tackle it. Keep going until you can't. So guys, the plan is laid out. There might be some deviations from that plan, but nonetheless, the World Economic Forum's plan is laid out for us to look at and go, holy shit, they're going through with this. We better do some shit and we better get active about it. Because if we don't, a lot of us are going to be left behind. Now, preppers, we should be fine. Especially those of you guys who are homesteaders and have your own land, though they, they looks like, guys, there's this new talk of land grab coming soon i don't know how soon i don't want to talk i don't want to say two years from now i don't want to say 10 or 20 years from now but it's supposedly coming supposedly they're looking at ways to take land from people so keep that in the back of your head as well i've been hearing this talk for the last two three months actually sorry for the last year i've been hearing this talk about land being taken from american citizens and i'm like and that the chinese have been buying fucking farms all over america so it looks like, guys, they're trying to figure out a way how to get land from people like you guys who are homesteaders. So whatever that might look like, I, I, I am not 100% sure, but it looks like that there's talk about this. I'm just hoping that you guys have your ears to the ground so, so that you listen to what might be coming or what might not be coming, whatever. But again, this is just talk right now. It's all it is. And uh, it's, it's interesting talk that I've been hearing, but nonetheless, it's something that you might want to pay attention to. That's all. All right, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can like and subscribe to The Angry Truths channel and The Angry Prepper Fitness channel. And other than that, guys, thank you for watching.